Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. We're going to talk about how can we have a bit more control over how our columns are ordered within Elementor. Now, this isn't going to be too difficult to understand in terms of the basics, but believe me, we're going to cover something that a lot of you didn't know was capable because you probably thought you got to put in a plugin or do loads of funky code. But what we're going to do is try and have control over the columns and which column appears as column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever, and in whatever order you want when it comes to the mobile view. Trust me, it's going to make sense in a moment. I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Please like and subscribe and follow us because we're here to help you get the best out of Elementor and WordPress for you, your clients, and your business, of course, and to make you a guru and an expert like us. I'm not an expert, but I think I'm an expert, but you know, I like to share what I know. Right, we are looking at a very basic, simple page. We have a section and we have three columns. Column one has a video, column two has an icon, and column three has some text. You know, we could have had images, we could have had accordions, we could have had loads of stuff in there, but I wanted to keep it really, really simple. Column one, column two, and column, right? Okay, we're covered there. Now, when you view this in a mobile, you know what's gonna happen, right? You're going to get column one, column two, and column three. You could reorder this or change the layout. So I could very easily go up to the column over here, go to layout, and I could say, right, we're going to make this 50%. And this column here with the icon, which is column two, we're also going to make that 50%. Okay. And when you come to the desktop, you still have three columns in a row. But on the mobile, we have column, column, and a column underneath. That's very, very basic. What we could also do is rearrange it. So let me just undo what I did there. I just undo, there we go. So we're back to our column one, column two, column three. What you could also do is go to the responsive mode and you could say um, responsive mode. No, sorry, don't click on the column, click on the section. Don't make that mistake I just made. Click on the section, then go to advanced, then go to responsive. And we can say reverse columns on the mobile. So watch what happens now. Right, so on the desktop, one, two, three, still the same column layout. You then go to the mobile, and we now get column three, two, one. We've reversed it, because it might be that on your desktop, you've got an image sat over here, but when you get to the mobile, you now want the image to kind of be on the top, or maybe on the bottom. But what if, so let's just take away the reverse columns bit, okay? What if, when we look on the mobile, we don't want it to go column one, two, three. What if we want it to go two, one, three? Uh huh. Can you see what I'm saying here? So when we get to the mobile, this icon will now be above the video, right? Now we've already seen that if you reverse it, column three, two, one, that's not what we want. We want it to be icon, video, and the text, which was column three, to always stay at the bottom. Right, this is so simple, it is super scary. So I'm gonna show you the code that you need to add in, okay? And the code is available in the description or the comments somewhere over there. Search for it, you'll see it. Okay, what you do is, it's dead simple, by the way. You go to the column. You gotta do this for every single column, by the way. You can get away with not doing it, but I would recommend you do it for every single column. I go to column one, right? Column one. Advanced, custom CSS. So you gotta use Elementor Pro, okay? And I know there's other plugins and other ways to do this, but make sure you get Elementor Pro. If you have not got Elementor Pro and you're using Elementor Free and loads and loads of add-ons, you're gonna get an incompatibility issue at some point in your life. Is it worth it? Is it worth the stress? You're probably going, yeah, we don't care. Fine, fine, do it then. Anyway, in the custom CSS for column one, I'm gonna paste this code. Let me just get rid of this bit here, which says, uh, let me just get rid of that bit there. There we go. So media only screen and max width 450. What this says is, okay, that when the width of the screen is zero pixels up to a maximum of 450, I mean, you could change this to be more specific to your mobile device or what you're looking at, but I've just gone for 450, okay? So from zero to 450, this column, okay, will now be order two, right? This column, selector, order, 
two. Does that make sense? So I'm saying when you get to a mobile view up to 450 pixel, I want that to be column two. Let's just uh, copy that code. Let's just go over to column two. Column two, custom CSS. I now want this one to be number one. That's what we're going for, right? You got one, two, three, but in the mobile, I want it to go two, one, three, okay? I'm not great at pronouncing my threes, am I? Four, four, the God of Thunder, four, three. Anyway, let's now go to column three, custom CSS, and we are gonna make this be order three. It's already column three, but we want it to stay as order three. Right, let's now hit update. That's all I've done, just dropped in a tiny bit of CSS. Tiny little snippet, you know, it's like, and it blew into the screen. Right, let's now see what happens when we view this on the mobile. Ta-da! The video is now below the icon. Now, it doesn't matter how many columns you have. You could have had, uh, you could have had two columns like in a row and then another column on its own and another two. You can play around and have them ordered and positioned however you want, okay? And of course, I'm sure you already know this. You can go to responsive, you can hide columns on the desktop, the tablet, or the mobile. But what we're looking at here is how we can reorder them with this super, super simple code. Let me just get my mouse to actually hit the code. Custom CSS, that's all it is. That is it. So if I was to say now, actually, uh, I want the order to go two, three, one, I would go to column two, like that, and I would say, right, make this number three and go to column three and make the custom CSS to be two. So you can mess around with it and have it looking however you want to have it look. So that's just some really simple CSS code that helps you have a bit more control and power and authority over the columns of Elementor. You own it. Like, subscribe. And we shall see each other very, very soon. I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Take care.